Republicans in Congress believe they saw the enemy of the Republic and they intend to defeat it. I will not rest until this bill is dead. The most radical piece of legislation before Congress. This enemy, the source of all this from my cold dead hands stuff from Republicans today in Congress, apparently is the Employee Free Choice Act, EFCA, whose purpose is to make it easier for Americans to join unions. Democrats introduced the bill today and they have long supported the concept of the bill because right now in America, it's sort of hard to join a union. Try being the one in your office to say, hey, I think we should unionize. Let's go talk to the boss. Generally speaking, what happens if you manage to get that far is that a secret ballot election will be scheduled following weeks and weeks and weeks of employer education aimed at informing you about the evils and the risks of unions. That is the secret ballot. It's sort of a creaky, dangerous, wobbly little bridge to unionization. And the central talking point of EFCA's opponents is that EFCA would offer another bridge to forming a union, EGADS. Along with the option of the secret ballot, employees could instead choose the option of signing consent cards. Employees get to pick which one they want to do. That would avoid the need for the scheduled election if they decided to go with the card thing. All the employee intimidation that often goes along with the election, they could pick the card thing instead. That's the bill, either cards or the secret ballot election. Workers get to decide. No disillusion of the American capitalist system, no threat to mom or apple pie, no commie five-year plans or taxidermied leaders in glass coffins, right? Just another route for employees to organize and form a union if they want to. That fact seems to have escaped congressional Republicans whose opposition to the bill seems to be built on making stuff up about it in order to defeat it. Here is a sample of the day in fact-free anti-union hysteria. In my view, this legislation that we're considering today is the most radical piece of legislation before the Congress. It's called the Employee Free Choice Act. It ought to be called the Employee No Choice Act because it takes away the secret ballot. I simply cannot support even a watered down version of this attempt to deprive American workers of a right to cast their ballot in secret. Here's the thing. Have you ever thought there might be a reason why some employees would want another choice besides the secret ballot election to which they have a right right now? As much as Republican senators want you to believe the secret ballot is the greatest thing since Ronald Reagan, turns out it's actually not that great. It has created a huge union-busting industry in this country, an industry finely tuned, highly skilled, well-funded, and well-resourced to make sure that a workplace facing a secret ballot election about whether or not to choose a union will hopefully never end up with a union. And this union-busting expertise has, has, has caused a steep drop, a plummet, if you will, in American union membership. And now, yes, evolving trade policies have hit highly unionized industries hard in the last generation or so, but so has union busting. Remember that scenario where you're the one in your office who wants to join a union? As is often the case, art, or in this case, comedy, has a good way of imitating life. This is a scene from The Office. After a few employees get the radical idea of unionizing, they get paid a little visit by their corporate representative. If there is even a whiff of unionizing in this branch, I can guarantee you the branch will be shut down like that. They unionized in Pittsfield, and we all know what happened in Pittsfield. It will cost each of you a fortune and legal fees and union dues, and that'll be nothing compared to the cost of losing your job. So I would think long and hard before sacrificing your savings and your futures just to send a message. But at least we've still got the secret ballot. <laughs> is this just a figment of Hollywood's imagination? I'm afraid not. Um, here's some further tape I'd like you to see. This is, this is a former union buster who quit the industry and then wrote an expose describing how union busting works. There isn't a practicing union buster that can be successful if he doesn't break the law routinely. The first words out of his mouth to management is that your employees have declared war against you. They are there with one goal and one goal only and that is to do whatever it takes however horrific, however illegal to destroy the collective spirit to ensure that the employer remains union free. 
however horrific, however illegal, the union busting industry. You know, that's the industry that would be hurt the most if EFCA passes and it becomes easier to join a union in this country. And maybe the death of the union busting industry, maybe that would be a great blessing for America's workers here.